So for the start of the countdown, we're going back to the start of the year uh, for an amazing trilogy of videos. Technically it gets in because the third video was released in 2013. It was absolutely a blast watching that. No expense were spared in that one. There were helicopters, action, blood, models and uh, yeah, top-notch kiting produced by the iForce crew. So what's not to like, Jim? What is not to like? Whoa, what's that? What is it? Weight style is about making statements and there are loads in this video. Liam Whaley finished fourth on the Pico World Tour in 2013 and this video reinforces the fact that he is a force to be reckoned with on the World Tour. Loads of respect for Andre Magareo as a filmer and editor and this is our pick of the short form Wake style trick fest edits of this year. Boom, if you want a statement mate, eh? Brian hard buddy. I knew he was gonna do that. the secret is to making a perfect smoothie. I do not. I'll tell you right now. Is it Kiwis? Oh, sorry. You guys are doing kiteboard, kiteboard video of the year? Here we are. Yeah, filming the intro for that? Yeah, yeah. What do you think of the tub video? Tub video, amazing. T technically, I wasn't really kite surfing. Oh, I, would, I would think I would have gone bigger too. You'd have gone bigger? Yeah. What about Jaws? I mean, that was, we had such a good day, Pacha. We, we killed that. I, Jaws. I thought that was fun. Amazing video. When did you shoot it? That was December 26th. Oh, cool. When did you release it? January 9th. Sorry, mate. It's out of date, mate. Okay. Maybe we should put it in. We should put the top video. Definitely deserve a spot in this car. Pretty naughty. Yeah. You know, I'm feeling good, you know? It's just.
Mind blowing, eye popping action. Reminiscent in quality of a lovingly crafted DVD. When you have a team of wave riders like Cabrina and a production unit as focused on quality, you end up with videos like this. What do I've got going on? One of the best bars on the market, man. It's the extract bar, it's got a nice bungee uh, where the clamp clean is so and it doesn't flap all over the place. Nice and small, really simple, pretty clean. Mm. What do you got? I got a spit, moves through here like this. And a uh, bit of a leash, leash on it. I'm not for sure, I think you can tie that on. You've got a uh, no quick release harness, nice. Kitchen knobs, man. Man, I always knew you were a bit of an old school knob. So the cool thing about kiting is how much it's changed in such a short period of time. You guys were there from the very beginning almost. And like my first gear is from 98, 99. And it's only 2013, but if you look at the evolution of the gear, it's insane. And luckily I've kept every single board that I've ever had in kiting. I made the mistake in windsurfing of not doing that and I always wish that I had. We basically took a piece of aluminum tubing about that long, put some kitchen knobs on it for winders, and they were two-line kites. So we had these two lines, not color-coded, so you never knew which side was going where and you'd always connect them wrong and no D-power. Crazy to see on the kites we ride now, oh my God, it's like day and night difference. It doesn't even come close to what we rode 12, 13, 14 years ago. It was so dangerous. You take that two-line kite, the amount of power that it made, the situations that you could get yourself into, it was rad. It was super, super extreme. There are two things pretty much certain with an F1 video. The first is that Raphael is gonna drag his team and staff out there, kicking and screaming to Mauritius. Not again. They must be thinking it's awful out there. It's terrible, yet they still go. The second thing to be sure of is that they're going to produce a video of great quality with what's called ambiance. Which means nice vibes. Nice vibes. Barrels, lips, one eye, me too. And freestyle. And freestyle. That's three things in an F1 video you can be sure of. They will remind you that kiteboarding is about a variety of styles. World-class athlete, Yuri Zun. Yuri Zun. Yuri Zun is a world-class athlete. Yuri Zun. Yuri Zun. Yuri Zun. Zun Yuri. A mission started ten years ago when Yuri Zun first touched a kite board. He seems to have a natural style about him, and he seems very committed. A mission that would lead him to spend his life focusing on one single goal, the title that would mark his lifetime achievements. Battling multiple injuries and always fighting to add more power and style to the game. Probably in the next year, if not two, he'll be the freestyle world champion.
Finding a good relationship with a cameraman is important as a rider. Sam Light exhibited this perfectly with a brace of videos shot here in Cape Town when he joined Slingshot. Yep, it's important to impress the bosses from early on. So teaming up together with Andy Jensen, they definitely did a good job. And I love his take on wake style, especially in the kickers. He just smashes it and he's one of the biggest prats I know. So he's got to make the cut, right? He's in. Cable is always the same, so it's great for practicing, but the real satisfaction comes when you can transfer your skills into the waves. North produced some great videos this year, giving us an insight into some of their processes and some of their gear development on Maui. You may want to check out some titles such as The Process or The Maui Episode. But wasn't it Petri's massive aerials and all-round wave shredding that caught our attention? I think everybody should check out the Lost and Found video from Indo. Jesse, you're back. Yeah, I really thought I might want to stand in for this on set. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm just going to introduce the last video. Last video is all about creativity. We really like creativity. It is two of Tarifa's best wake style riders. Went away to Brazil. There was kickers. There was all sorts involved. It is nice to see something different. What I really like is... <laughs> ah! Play the video already. <laughs> Everything is interdependent. When we are driven by the wind, the power of the ocean, and the harmony of the seasons, by putting all them together, we connect with nature. We give it a balance to shine every day. Even if our silhouettes are all that remain, our legacy will continue through time and space. Together with happiness, the stars 